Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I posted a video. I have had quite an end of a year and new year. Um, I got sick with COVID. It finally hit our house. Um, three of us were down for the count thanks to my daughter. Um, brought it home from school. But um, I'm definitely feeling better. My voice is still a little bit not normal at least for me and i still waking up a little bit congested but i finally am able to share some projects with you guys um i had received a, a lot of valentine dies from erica's shop you guys know i'm on her design team i'm continuing for the next couple months um i've really been enjoying myself creating with her dies they are so cute and um this one is her mini um album and it's the mini love album and it comes with quite a bit of dies but they're all big so they're like really easy to use sorry i, I have a big mess right now on my table and i have not cleaned it up um, i was doing a lot of cutting and then i got sick and everything got left to the side there for a minute but it comes with these big out the love which has the little outline as you can see i used here and it's for your shakers too. And then it has um, stitching outline here. That's just one large piece. And then you have two more large pieces. Um, I don't know if you can, let me take them out real quick. This is the one that I used um, mainly. Um, I used the solid large piece and then the stitched layer top. And then you have the love, the actual words here. And you can do your um, shaker component if you want using the other outline. I opted not to do shaker because in my head I had this idea and it did not pan out the way I wanted it to. Um, and then I didn't have the glitter paper I thought I had. Uh, I used it all up, unfortunately. So I resorted to using my stickles. And what I did was I cut the outline in white um cardstock and then just use stickle stickles to it's like an iridescent one it's this one here what's this one called um what's the name of this one they usually have their name on there eee. this one does not but it is super like like glittery really pretty so i ended up going all the way around and then I filled the inside here and then these are just some sticker uh bows that I had a while ago and I was thinking oh I should have used Erica's double bows because that would have been so cute to have the loopies there but I like that you can see the heart and then um for the pages I ended up using um this new paper collection that I found oh, oh gosh stamping up sorry and it was on sale it was like at the end of the year and so i was able to get it and cut everything out um and then got sick and it's comes with like two of each it's this paper pad here it's just individual sheets and it's got like really pretty they're double-sided but oh i love some of these papers have really pretty design anyways i ended up um using that for this and did some fussy cutting this is just, I use Erica Circle Essential dies and made three circles for the pages and cut some fussy um, cutting of the pieces there for the candy. And then I added my own. And then this is um, this die that I just picked up last year. Um, it's a candy die that I have. And then I use Erica's oval um, shape there and just use the paper to add extra little pieces there. This one's probably my favorite page. Um, I blinged it all out. I was um, cleaning out my rhinestones, trying to find, to see if I had enough red, um, and I did. But what I did was, Erica has the, um, oh, what is it called? The heart, the heart soap pump dye, which is this one here. And I took these pieces here and made little cute um, pull out cards that I really, really liked. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to add one here because I had leftover from stuff that I was making and it triggered the idea to make these cute little pullout tags and add a little charm to all of them. And the back, I backed it with white so you can journal or add a little heart photo. And then, of course, the Be Mine. Um, those are my old Sizzix letters that I've had for a long time. Um, I thought it'd be cute with the font. I liked it. And then the heart um, is just a foam sticker. And then this is, I made it a lollipop um gosh the soap pump um i made it like a heart apple shape 
and I did it and I posted one on Instagram and then I thought oh I'm gonna do one here and then this is the love words I have Erica's uh, mini or Valentine words number the number one I think or Valentine words number one yeah and I used that there and then I just cut up the paper and made like a big piece here for pictures and then put this sticker that I had in my stash which I don't even know where it came from and then um created a pocket in per like this was my purple page as you can see this is the um the love word here I cut it out of the paper because I really liked <coughs> sorry I really liked the um the size of it and I thought it'd be perfect to put here but I had this sticker here um for a while and I it was purple and I thought it'd be perfect to add to the page really like it and then I just created a large pull out tag that you can slide in there and added some cute little um, stickers from my stash. I don't even know where these came from. I've just had them. Someone, oh, they're from um, Recollections. Someone gave them to me, I think, or I bought them on sale, one of the two. And this is another page. I have this purple iridescent paper. I had scraps of it, so I cut it up and put it in here. And then I added this extra little um, piece there to add the, um, photo or journaling and then it's I got in a swap these big conversation heart stickers so I thought that was perfect to add there because the um, paper in the background has conversation hearts which I absolutely loved I'm not crazy about the color I wish it was like a little bit more vibrant but still cute and then this one I just made it like a little layout and did some fussy cutting with all the hearts and then this is just some stickers that I've had that they were um pebbles and there are these stickers here. I got them a long time ago when I worked at a scrapbook store. And then I made another layout over here and did some fussy cutting. Added more of those conversation heart stickers. And then this one, I um, just made like a little cutout for some pictures there. But I love that paper. It is so cute. It's like little lollipops. So cute. And then I just did a little... Um, layout here but let me see if I have a little scrap of paper ah, I don't have oh yeah here we go it kind of opens up so like if you want to put a picture in there you can and then on this side I just did a layout and that was it and then the back side I just put this little I have this tag that has like these hearts someone I think gave it to me in a swap I think and so I used it there and I had finished this and then I realized I did not have any ring binder or these rings. So I had to go out. I was going to order Amazon, but I found the Dollar Tree has a pack of 10. So I picked those up. And they also had the size 1.25. So I grabbed some of those too. Okay, so that's that project. The next project I did, um, which I shared on Instagram, is all these little keychains. And what I decided to do, because there's a large and a small, is I thought I'd do a set of embellishments with like pears because they're so cute and I have all these like paper pads of Valentine days that are definitely um older and I just wanted to use up as much of the paper as I could but I still didn't even make a dent on those papers because it's just you know it's not a lot but this set is really cute and it comes with the heart um, soap pump which I absolutely love and then these are the her word her Valentine words and she has them available. And if you guys use my discount code, which I'll put the link, it's mwalker10. You guys can um, go nab some and get 10% off your order. And her site is like really cool now. Like it's all um, very fancy. Ah, this, I put a charm on that one. These cute little heart keys you can see. Then I put some um, gold so cute i just i really like the way these turned out you guys so much fun oh look at that oh and then i have all these stickers that i haven't used so i thought i'd um use it was a good way to use them up but that one had this had the um large and the little hearts and i've been like my table's a mess you guys i've been using them the hearts have come in handy to like die cut other for other projects okay and then the other thing i shared was these big old arrows here let me move these out are these big old arrows with her arrow um die set which is so cute i really like it i saw v i'm gonna copy v because she has one let me see if i have the what did i do with the arrow 
Gosh darn it. Oh, can't find what I did with the arrow one. Oh my goodness. I, I'm telling you, my table's a mess right now because I've been like trying to craft, like craft as fast as I can because I've been, I was sick and didn't get a chance, but it comes with these two pieces and the two hearts. And I just added the straw. I did glue it in between there as you can, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I just glued them in between. And then I decided to add these little tassel charms on there. Um, Maria, I think it's Mary Carmen on, uh, made by Mary Carmen on Instagram. She had posted some at Christmas time and I got them together and then could not, it just didn't come to me naturally to make them. So I ended up just leaving my charms to the side. But then I was like, I'm going to make Valentine's Day one. And so I did. I finally got it together and made Valentine and pulled out all my pink and like iridescent. And then this one's like a hot pink color. And I did this. Um, I order. I think it was from Happy Little Shop is the shop that I picked up. I'll have to see. But so cute, like her charms. And I just ordered some more from her. I thought I had her sticker. Maybe it wasn't her. But um I'll tag where I got the, um, oop, I was cutting stuff and this thing has tape back there. I did put it on foam, the words, and the words are also her Valentine words, but I thought that was so cute. And then, and then, sorry, I hate that I do that. I decided to create a cute little set of embellishments, which I still need to photograph, but I thought I'd share them here since I'm sharing all my projects. Um, Erica has this, it's a sequin um, holder, sequence holder. And it comes with a small size and a large size. And I use the small size for this one. It is so cute. Now, I've seen people put, um, I think you put it in a baggie. I did. Anyways, I use those glue dots from the Dollar Tree. And they've been like, like they stick and doesn't tear the page in there. I thought I had them here. What did I do with them? I said I didn't want to put them away because I wanted to share them. Whoa. Oh, well, I don't know what I did with them. Um, If I can find them, I'll put the name. But they're like little clear glue dots. Anyways, but I did do a pink. And I have this paper that I just, it all goes well together. So here's a card that I made. Um, the I Love You is from her um, stamp set here. It's this one here. And I used um, a, what was it? The Sponge Sugar Distress um, ink for it so it's really light and then I just added these little stickers or flowers and these are from Michaels um, or no yeah the these are from Michaels and then the glitter ones I picked up last year or no the year before I got them at um, Hobby Lobby when they were on clearance I picked them up and Michaels right now I just went over there and found this right here I found this set and look at these guys aren't these pretty i want to use these today i don't know for what i'm gonna try to scrap or craft tonight and finish up some stuff but i did do that and then i made the um shaker that is the gumball add-on for her valentine's day which is this one here ah! so it comes with the oops with the little heart your base piece and then it comes with the um clear or the part the heart the space for the layering on top and it comes with the little cute um oh sorry this is part of the gumball machine i left it on there and then this little layering but it comes with the little cupid but i use the arrows and created the little sequence in there i don't know if you guys can see them in there i did white and pink and then just added um a little bit but i keep doing that where i fill it up with sequins and then when it drops it's not a lot like i need to get better i need to figure it out but I love the way it turned out. And then this is just the base of the gumball machine that um, comes, that I bought. I bought this one last year at the beginning of, or no, like at Easter time because I wanted to make the Easter, um, the bunny one. And I did not. Instead, I did a goldfish bowl with the top part. But I love the colors. I did do some stitching. Um, I've been messing with my sewing machine to get it to work. But... I just love the way this turned out. It is so cute. And these are just random stickers that I had and they matched. And then I found this glitter paper in my stash. So I used it up and I just, I love the color combination. I think I'm like a, like a mauve pink um, fan more than anything else. And 
the last ones I want to share are the ones that I shared on my um, Instagram. I made these cute little note cards. Uh, Erica has her little mini envelope set. And what I did is I took um, one of the hearts from the arrow, actually, which I have no idea where it's at. My God, I thought I had it here. Oh, here it is. I'm like, I know I had it here. Sorry, I have a mess. You guys should see this disaster. So I took the big heart and the little heart and I folded the paper right and I put my die piece down and made the card and then used the stamp set from um, her Valentine stamp set. I think this is like stamp set number two. This um, I ended up using some of them in here to make little note cards and then they just slide in like this. And I didn't add anything there because I didn't want them to be bulky, but... I need to make some envelopes and I used all of her um, little words, the Valentine words. And this one says, I really like you. And oh my gosh, I just love it. And I just re used random stickers in my stash that I've had for a couple of years now. I'm not a big, big Valentine's Day crafter, but I definitely have a little stash and I've given some stuff away too. Um, and this one just says hugs, kisses and Valentine wishes. And oh, I just love the way that turned out. I didn't do anything in the back because I wasn't sure if I was going to like, I thought they used to be cute too to put like on a journal page or something, but yeah. So these are all my projects that I've been doing and I have, still have a few more to share. So come back soon and I'm hoping to get some tutorials going because I've had a bunch of stuff I've made and haven't really shared because I was sick um, right after, like right after Christmas, literally the next day. And so um, but you guys know to head over to Erica's, um, shop and sorry, I'm like out of breath already. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, but come back and check out some more stuff. Head over to Erica's, um, shop. If you want to pick up anything, you guys know her hashtag, um, and info is hashtag scrap diva designs and you know you'll get a lot of lot of ideas and don't forget to use my discount code mwalker10 thanks for watching guys bye